Welcome back to the Football Terrace and the Fan Channel Review Show. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, get it done. And there's a little bell button next to the subscribe button, whether on your phone, desktop, TV. Make sure you have notifications turned on as well. Loads to talk about today, so let's jump straight into it and let's start with troops. I cannot believe this. And we can't even... We He's out of Tottenham away. He's out for Tottenham away. Moreno's injured and he's gonna tell me be calm oh edu's cooking all this shit <laughs> you can just see the realization that it was a very obscure decision from the referee and we'll get into why later but you can see the anger and the realization north london derby no rice north london derby no moreno you just see it building up there in troops oh no edu you fucking <laughs> oh my god oh my god Build-ups there. An idiot. The referee, I assume. I assume he means the referee. Kim Moreno's got a fucking broken arm. We're going to just hunt him with no fucking rice. <laughs> oh, but Edu's fucking cooking, isn't it? Edu's fucking cooking. He's cooking fucking sushi. The fucking prick. Sushi's quite nice. <laughs> I don't know. What do you all reckon? Is sushi good? I mean, a lot of it's cold. You don't actually cook it. You prep it. But there is hot food that you get at sushi restaurants. I think sushi's quite nice. How did he kick? He didn't even touch the f***ing ball. Mm, he did. They say Raz kicked the ball. Where did he kick the ball? He does. But I kind of get what's going through Troops' mind right now. There is nobody. There is not a football fan on planet Earth who watched that penalty decision, sorry, the red card decision, watched it unfold. And when the referee was taking the yellow card out, nobody thought Rice was getting a second yellow. It was a shock to everybody. A hundred, a hundred and ten percent in my personal opinion. Uh, let's take a little listen here to what Mark Goldbridge has got to say about this. Everybody, welcome to that's football. Arsenal won, Brighton won. Have Arsenal bottled it in relation to you've got to win these types of bottled it? Have Arsenal bottled it three games in? I'm gonna give you guys time to write an answer before we continue a little bit. Arsenal bottling it. Big question from Mr. Goldbridge. Games, if you're gonna challenge Manchester City, well, of course, we can talk about that. But the VAR, PGMOL, have bottled it. I'm sure me and Will will be talking about this on the podcast on Monday. That is a game changer. That is a massive point of contention. And if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be bloody furious. You're 1-0 up. Declan Rice gets sent off for a second yellow card. You're down to 10 men for 40 minutes against a team like Brighton. You know, you're not playing bloody Burnley here. It's going to be tough. Brighton are a decent team. And in some ways, Arsenal might say... Getting a point from that situation shows, you know, what Arsenal are all about. That togetherness, that hard work, and even look trying to win the game with 10 men. Incredibly hard in the Premier League. And I think what we've seen today in relation to bottled it, well, look, technically, yes, you can't drop those points against Man City in this league. You just can't do it. Arsenal fans know it tonight. You know it. I know it. Man City fans will be like, beat West Ham. We're on our way. Um, it's a massive dropping of two points for Arsenal. But... This is the Premier League beyond Manchester City. This is the Premier League without Man City. You, you know, you, you when 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 Villa won at Arsenal last year, part of you goes, well, that's the title to Man City, boring. But then part of you goes, that's the strength of the Premier League, though. You couldn't have called that. And that well, I, I think that's, that's absolutely spot on there from Mark, and it does demonstrate and it does show the overarching quality of the Premier League. And look, I think Arsenal lost their way a little bit 10, 15 minutes after that red card, and I think that's an area that. Arteta should be so harsh when it comes to these players. They, they didn't close up shop enough. The centre-backs got split for the goal. Gabriel wasn't strong enough in that challenge. And I think if they get through that 10 to 15 minute period, they may have gone on to just win 1-0. They really could have done that. And in fact, the more Brighton pushed, they would have been able to have caught them on the counter, potentially. And I think the other mistake that, that Arteta did make is I think Kai Havertz should have come off straight away. Not because he missed the chance, but I think the Trossards and the Martinelli's and Saka should have stayed on. They could have helped out defensively. But then what you have is electrifying, very good to electrifying pace on the counter. 
is my personal view. But what do you think about what Mark said? Did Arsenal bottle it? I want to put that question out there. I want to get everybody's views and opinions on that. Uh, up next, let's take a look at the reaction. I think this, I think this is Kai Havertz and Saka's misses when it was 1-1. Curtis Saliba, Shaw, good strength. Don't give away a free kick. Gabriel clears it. It's Havertz. What a touch. Kai Havertz is in. Kai Havertz is in. Oh, my God. Saka finish. Finish, Saka. Havertz. No. What are you doing? You know, it's bad about that. It was such a good passage of play. The finish wasn't great. Decent save. But did you see the touch? Did you see the touch after that from Havertz when he tackled himself? It's, you know, it's those moments where his haters go, you know, that meme from uh, DiCaprio, with, where he points at himself. That was one of those moments in the game. You could hear the pain in Curtis's voice. What are you doing? <laughs> that is everything that is wrong with him. Look at the first touch. Look at the touch. Look at the pace. Finish, chip him. Oh, and Sako hit the damn ball. How has he missed? It was so, we, we, on reflection when you look back. It was such a great opportunity for Arsenal from that point. It really, really was. I think I might have clicked on the wrong one here. You can see we don't edit these for that. Like, could go. not wait. Could you see him? I don't know if you've seen him yet. He's standing there like, oh, this is my moment to make myself. <laughs> Do you know what I love? It's the teeth. It's the teeth for him. Context. I'm going to go back and start again. The context. This is Lee Gunner talking about, uh, Lee judges, my apologies, talking about the referee. I could not wait. Could you see him? I don't know if you've seen him yet. He's standing there like, oh, this is my moment to <laughs> He's, you know, the great meme of him sh staring at his phone. <laughs> Make myself the star of today, like, you know what I mean? I haven't spent my money to see that prick. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> He's going in! Like, but I'm telling you that now, he come round, round the corner. Like, everybody in the crowd's thinking he's going to book the player for kicking him. That's like, what I everybody's thinking that. He's going, oh, no, I'm going to get all this 60,000 all going here. I'm going to make it all about me today. And that's what he done. <laughs> Do any of you think that's true? I get in the moment we all say things. We all do it. I'm guilty too. Guilty too. Do any of you think... I'm going to put my iWatch on the charge. It's run out of battery. I'll do it while I'm talking to you lot. But do you think that some referees go, I'm, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to kick the bee's nest. Do you think that happens? Let me know in the comments section below. Up next, let's listen to a little bit of talk sport here as they're debating this huge red card. Declan Rice gets gets a yellow for that. I mean, it's so... Like, if he goes and kicks it into the Baldins or he picks a ball and, you know, picks it up and runs... <coughs> oh! Excuse me. Runs away with it and then throws it away, then fine, you're a silly boy. But just, he taps it a, a yard. Listen, Jamie O'Hara is a Spurs fan, hates her Arsenal, makes sense. When you've got Jamie O'Hara talking facts about Arsenal I, I'm i just not hearing this Bennett throws where is that energy when those rules are strictly applied to you or you see them not applied in 90, 99.999% of other games and moments and he gets sent off come on don't do it come on mate where's the common sense don't, in the game don't, don't do it but Jason Cundy won't be saying that today is Yao Felix is sent off for the same thing and it leads to, I think they're playing Palace. Palace getting a result. He will call it out. This is the element of tribalism that I do not like. I think we 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 instigate inconsistencies from the refs. Now, people are saying, oh, you're just defending Arsenal. That will be the beta response to this. However, just go back through the football terrace. We, spoke, we, we have defended Liverpool when they were robbed last year against Spurs, the handball against Arsenal, ironically. We've called out this against multiple teams. But it's funny how when it's Arsenal that gets screwed or Man United gets screwed over, it's almost like it becomes a criminal offence to defend it. Don't kick the ball away. But he hasn't, he hasn't kicked it away, has he? He has he's just, kicked it. He's, he okay, hasn't. Okay, okay, he hasn't. Yeah, Semantics, he's flicked it away. Come on, mate. Don't do it. We know the laws. We know, we know this happens. Should Jao Pedro have got a, a, a yellow card in the first half? Yes. 
So, is it, so if Jao Pedro got a yellow card in the first half, would Arsenal fans say that it's fair? Yes. The, the, uh, this is what I think everybody's missing, and Cundy is so off, off the, 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 the pace here. People are not annoyed that, it, that he got the yellow card because it ruined the game in isolation. If you look, there might be a few morons that are saying that. The vast majority of people challenging this are challenging the inconsistency with bookings for delaying the restart of a game. You get time wasting from goalkeepers, not always booked. In this game alone, there was two incidents. Jao Pedro in the first half, Saka right towards the end, delaying the restart. Neva were booked. We saw it in multiple other games yesterday. People delaying restarts, people standing in front of free kicks, people flicking the ball away, people carrying the ball. The amount of times you see a team trying to get back into a game. They score, make it 2-1 with a minute to go. And you see the opponents holding onto the ball to delay the start of the, to delay the start of the game. Rarely do players get booked. Mr. Cundy, that is what's being called out. So if you are presenting that as your argument and all you're getting back is the rules are the rules, it's not a response, it's not an answer. The inconsistency is being challenged as, oppo as opposed to the rule itself. I I'm not too sure what's difficult to fathom, understand, comprehend about this. The problem is, is that nobody has a rebuttal for the consistency argument. Nobody can say you're wrong. They want to because they want to hate on Arsenal in this particular incident. That happens to Man United today. They want to hate on Arsenal. But they know. The same as when Delo was sent off at Anfield last year. I didn't complain about the rule because the rules are the rules. People were getting booked for dissent. But he got two yellow cards for the same outburst. And they said it's because he swore twice within it. But I saw an example yesterday. I saw Thomas Partey swear three times at referee. Didn't get a booking for either of them. The point is, the rule was applied to the low that led to him missing a game. Didn't impact that match, to be fair, because it was right at the end, but he missed the game. The fact that nobody else after that point has suffered the same fate is why we're calling it out. The inconsistency stinks. And it isn't for just for Arsenal. We should be doing this for all teams at all times. That will help make football better. But I suppose some people don't want that. Uh, hit the like and the share button, people. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you check out the featured channels, Curtis Shaw TV. We have obviously had AFTV on here. Mark Goldbridge on That's Football. Go and check out all these platforms. Of course, the brilliant troops as well. It's so important that the fan channel community sticks together, promotes each other, and does these things in a good way. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.